it does, it does, it does better. Ten minutes starts. <laughs> Mr. Chairman, uh, distinguished colleagues, uh, I would start uh, my my short presentation, my contribution to to this panel, with the well uh, well known uh, taxonomy of uh, Benjamin Samuel Bloom. Uh, it's well known that according to his taxonomy, uh, conceptual knowledge is one of the four levels of knowledge. Include uh, study or relationship between uh, uh, basic elements within a large structure that, can, that enables them to function as a whole. Elements of uh, conceptual knowledge, uh, for example, are the following things. The knowledge of uh, uh, categories and classification, uh, um, principles and generalization, theories, uh, models and structures, and so on. But what is the po important is that uh, contextual knowledge and receive education is assumes that there is a target concept, concept of what and for whom the knowledge has the functional value. Uh, effective learning and generally learning uh, always have a, a content and outcome. Thus, when we are trying to, uh, we are seeking to answer the question, what is effective learning? We should start from the uh, necessary knowledge of the future generations. Uh, 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 speaking about content, uh, we always have in mind what, what uh, in how curriculum should be. In addition to the content, modern understanding of the learning emphasizes the importance of the outcome, which is the basis for uh, measuring, uh, monitoring, and evaluation of the learning process. When we talk about education, we always think about educations of education of future generations. The fourth industrial revolution greatly shapes the present and we will considerably influence the knowledge that future generations need to have. In uh, fourth industrial revolutions, all economic systems are transforming. Uh, com companies, national economies, uh, even the entire societies undergo fundamental changes. Therefore, uh, consequently, competition is less and less based on the costs and more on the uh, fu functionality, uh, innovation, and so on. Mass production economy with its low average cost will not in the future uh, provide competitive age as is used to do. The most valuable resource, the most important resource will be not won't be uh, traditional concept of capital but but uh, the talent. In the fourth industrial revolution, Employment pattern is changing with expansion of artificially based uh, automation. Even jobs will be created by themselves through innovative ecosystems. Thus, key priority should be to transform uh, education system to the requirements of the fourth industrial revolution. The emphasizes should be on creativity, developing creativity, that is the methods that boost creativity and remove obstacles to creativity. Critical thinking also is very important, digital literacy, developing capacity for empathy also is very important, teamwork, et, et cetera. Uh, effective learning does not mean accumulating facts, information. 
effective learning should enable information to be linked according logical or consistent criteria in a meaningful way. Accordingly, effective learning should enable acquisition of certain conceptual knowledge that is theoretical, certain theoretical and certain professional knowledge. But in addition, for learning to be effective, it should enable application of the knowledge. That also means that it should enable acquisition of certain applied knowledge and also encourage development of skills. For each profession, there is a, a certain combination of the knowledge. Relative presence of different knowledges, knowledges depends on the uh, profession for, for which students are educated as well as the level of the of education. As I said, as I mentioned, for each profession there is a certain a combination of the knowledge. For example, <coughs> effective entrepreneurial knowledge assumes a uh, appropriate combination of some theoretical, professional, and applied knowledge. Theoretical uh, knowledge for, uh, for the entrepreneurs are, for example, uh, the knowledge of the law of the market, the knowledge of the law of the competition, knowledge of the uh, regulatory environment, etc. Professional knowledge is mostly technical knowledge necessary for operating business ventures. Also, professional knowledge is a knowledge of the principles of the management, marketing, finance, business finance, accounting, and so on. But uh, entrepreneur law, uh, education also should encourage development of some skills, such as leadership skill, negotiation skill, communication skill, and so on. The connections between these different, one minute. The connection between uh, different uh, kind of, uh, uh, of uh, uh, knowledge is provided by using uh, innovating learning methods, such as integrative teaching, project teaching, and interactive teaching. Integrative teaching is a teaching in which boundaries between different disciplines are deleted or vague and in which new meaningful connections are made between, between uh, uh, similar aspects of different disciplines. In that way, uh, perspectives of different dif differences are integrated in a new whole which is the larger and most important than. Uh, okay, thank you very Sorry, much. I, That's know okay. you, I know you had a, a long video.